our scientists have learned how to make people. They call them synthetics. Are you familiar with those? Um, well, actually, we just interviewed John Lear, and he was talking about being in an audience in which they were given a lecture by a guy that they thought was real and found out later was he was a hologram. It's a synthetic. A synthetics, when you touch their skin, it feels like uh, plastic almost. That's the latest technique. The old, the old techniques, uh, if you guys can rent a video, uh, the boys from Brazil, rent it. Because in it, it gives you the exact way how our government's been making people. Really? Yeah. Well, and the on. Soviets had a different method. Called, I mean, making people, meaning temporary people? No. Walking, talking ones. Meaning through genetics? You're not talking about that? Well, let me tell you. Let me. Uh, the movie shows it, but I'll share it with you right now. All right. All I need to do is take two cells off of your body, yours. Uh-huh. We give them a small electrical charge. I'm just... What if I were to tell you that I could take a scraping of skin from your finger and create another Ezra Lieberman? Can, can it not only act like a fertilized egg? If I got a fertilized egg, all I need is a receiver in order to make it. So they were hypnotizing women, you know, said they were being invaded by aliens. And the fetus starts growing, right? Needs food. Well, they can use cows and sheep, too. Again, a food source. That's all we need. After about 14 weeks, all of a sudden, that fetus is gone because they've learned to take. That's when the fetus starts developing its own blood supply. Then they've used a pituitary hormone extract that they have, which accelerates the being that grows. That's but the so-called elite are selecting on who they want to have around anyway. So if we want to keep people going as long as we can, I, I talked to the doctor that was working on um, regeneration of Castro, for instance. There is information that's available. And it, more and more of that is coming on the line. I just told you, go rent the, uh, the movie. Okay, boys from Brazil. Yeah, and you'll see the whole technique on what they... They show it to you in different places, so you, you can imagine what it's going on. We take the unfertilized egg of an ovulating female and destroy all of its genes and chromosomes. We then implant the nucleus of the donor cell, which could be taken from a blood sample or even a skin scraping. That cell with its genetic material intact, eventually becomes an embryo and is born as a living creature. Without parents? Well, it has no father because the egg was never fertilized, no mother, because its genetic code comes from another being. Can you follow that? And this uh, creature is an exact duplicate of itself? Oh, Doctor, how can that be? Come along. I'll show you how it's done. Here we are removing the eggs of a white rabbit from the fallopian tubes. Now, you see the egg under a microscope. I've brought the point of an ordinary sewing needle into view to give an idea of size. They are that small? Most mammal eggs are about that size. Including human eggs? Yes. The next step.
step is to destroy the egg nucleus with ultraviolet light. so that none of its genetic makeup remains. Now, you see an egg from a white rabbit ready to be injected with the blood cell from a black rabbit donor. With the injection pipette, one of the blood cells is sucked up and then injected into the egg. After a few hours, the eggs in culture divide and are ready to be put back into the female. There they grow into embryos, which in a month's time, the normal gestation period, they will become baby rabbits. In this instance, a black litter from a white mother and their black color proves that they have been cloned from the blood cell of a black rabbit. And this can be done with humans? If the surgical technique were precise enough. It's monstrous, doctor. Why? Wouldn't you want to live in a world full of Mozarts and Picassos? Since the body is very physical, and we, had, we just got you making a physical being in a few months for spare parts, they said, now we've got the perfect deal. How can we have that work better? Well, if you go to the hospital today and get an encephalogram, what's that? That's the memory of your conscious mind. It's on the CD. Let's download it on this being now we got a walking talking duplicate that has the total memory that you have because we just took it off of your own mind if they're willing to come forth they'll tell you they work on those people and they call them the others i thought it was uh, interesting <laughs> they're people remember these people can think and act but they don't sure. have soul and after that was to reduce the world's population down to 500 million right